There's a great video floating around the net today that was rediscovered. It's the time in 2007 that George Bush accidentally told the truth about world affairs. So I wonder what your thoughts are about how you further tighten the financial pressure on Iran in particular, if it also means economic pain for a lot of our allies. Yeah, it's an interesting question. Um, one of the problems, not specifically on this issue, just in general, that uh, that um, uh, let's put it this way: money trumps um, peace sometimes. <laughs> in other words, commercial interests are very powerful interests throughout the world. And part of the issue in convincing people to put sanctions on a specific country is to convince them that it's in the world's interest that they forego their own financial interest. AATP made a great point about this. They said, quote, credit where it's due, that's a pretty accurate observation, a simple truth, really. But it's the simple acceptance of this truth, the sort of matter-of-fact way he states this atrocity as though it were nothing to complain about, that makes this clip noteworthy. The atrocities we're willing to accept, the degree that we're willing to accept control by financial interests, informs every decision we make. It's the degree of comfort with that control that makes the difference. Yeah, and that's spot on. He's just like, well, you know, commercial interests are uh, they're commercial, and they uh, they have a lot of uh, a lot of power, and money trumps peace. Mm. It's kind of a little bit of a Freudian slip, also, given the situation with Iraq at the time. This was from 2007, still in the height of the Iraq War. And many people, when they hear a comment like that, they think, oh, right, war profiteering, the military-industrial complex, the fact that Halliburton got these giant no-bid government contracts when, when Dick Cheney was uh, an, a head official at that company, and then when he became vice president, lo and behold, they get no-bid contracts for Iraq. Oh, Ra uh, Raytheon, Halliburton, KBR... Boeing, you name it, all these different defense contractors that make a tremendous amount of money from us going to Iraq. And of course, the oil in Iraq is another big aspect of this. The opium in Afghanistan, uh, the minerals in Afghanistan. We like to think, well, we're just the good guys going around the world uh, helping people. And I, to be clear, I think that the people in power believe the cover story. They believe the rationalizations and the lies that they tell themselves about this. They think that's true. They think we are the world policemen and we're doing the right thing. And then they conveniently ignore the other aspect of it, the profit aspect of it. To them, that's just a byproduct of us being good people is, well, okay, we get some more oil out of it. What's the big deal? Okay, some people get rich off of it. What's the big deal? Well, the big deal is exactly what George W. Bush just said right there, that money trumps peace.